Oh, you're starting here. Over to you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time, man, right? No, I know. I know. You've been waiting. I've been waiting. It's been hard. <laughs> Anya and I have been very busy and schedules are tight sometimes and it's this time of year, but we have gotten together again today and we've got a few topics we might talk about. We've got one or two for sure we're going to talk about, but most importantly, Anya, how the heck are you? Talk I'm good, Dan. Good to see you again with my favorite little hat on. I love that. We've just been discussing. Uh huh. I love it. The horse yeah, and it's been it's been a little while since we've talked, and it's kind of good. And we've 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 got some uh some interesting uh well we've got you and I we we've been her and I have been talking for about I don't know twenty minutes. Yeah, about twenty <laughs> minutes. And so enjoy my time with you. Said we have to. We said in the last session that we would actually to be continued in this session. Now, how we met because some people wanted to know. Here, so you, you notice I'm trying not to. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, mean, I just want to make sure you know. Oh, that. I love this story. It is just brilliant. So, so this is not one of my finer moments. <laughs> How it but starts, it was, I'll start it. And then what I don't remember, you take over. But yeah, we got, I think with parts where it was fuzzier for me and less yeah. for you. <laughs> Let's yeah. see, we had way a through, mutual but. viewer. An interesting, yeah, well, unique let's, viewer. Who? Let's call her, let's call her a, yeah. uh, a, a viewer that was between us. It's very, yeah, and I, no, she I, said to me about you and to you about me that we should get together and do something together, I think. Is that what, what I It remember? was, and I think if I remember um, correctly, the part that I'm huh, not real happy about is, um, so I like did a video, I think, early <laughs> on. <laughs> That's well. right. Cause like, she's like, check out this chick talking about stuff. And I'm like, all right, whatever. And on your side, who knows what you were talking about. It's probably something <laughs> amazing and brilliant and way better than anybody, whatever. But I'm like, yeah. So anyway, this lady's like talking about this stuff and like, whatever. So somehow you, um, I think found out about that video where I was talking about you. Yep. Um, because like that mutual f friend we're calling her. Uh, yeah. 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 That, um, <coughs> and you happened. And yeah, it was, um, I, I don't, I don't think I came across real well. Um, your management. You, firstly, you said I was British, which was funny. Right. Wrong. But I can understand you said that because I'm often in London. Right. Right. So that was, well, and you lived in Canada too for a while. So your accent's got to be a little <laughs> bit massaged, let's say. Yeah. But you were bit. saying, who is this woman or who is this right. chick? And, and, and you were like way more watch. subscribers than me, like <laughs> way more. I don't even think I had a hundred yet, man. I was just like, way like, yeah. Anyway, so like, I'm the good one here. Like y'all, I don't know. What's on. Yeah. Uh, I still, if I can find a copy of the video where you make fun of me, I'm going to put it down below for people to enjoy. Cause it's very funny. <laughs> if I haven't deleted it from the internet yet. <laughs> You go check the Wayback Machine and see what you I'm find. I'm going to check the Wayback Machine. Yeah. Uh, that yeah I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't tried to. If it's out there, I, I have, people ask me, like, which video did you talk about such and such? And I'm like, I, I don't. Uh, uh, I've done 450 videos or yeah. 500. I don't know. Some stupid number of videos so yeah, far. It's, yeah. It's fun. It's just like a, it's a hobby, really. <laughs> So, it's a hobby. Yeah, so, um, so I did, that's how um, we met. You made fun yeah. of me, and then I contacted you to say, "Hey, you what just you made me? fun of me. Come and do a video." I, with yeah, me now. like, but but you did say, "Here's the part I kind of remember," because it was like, "Oh man, it made me feel kind of slightly special." You're like, because you'd mentioned that, and I, it was like one of those moments in life, you know, when you make a mistake, and someone's like the teacher calls you out, or your <laughs> boss calls you into the room, and they're like, "So you." see this thing you did uh, three days ago and you're like head goes flush yeah because you know your life's just ending oh. right now <laughs> so that's how i felt our first communication went it was hey so no yeah i checked it out and it was um yeah i like how you were kind of almost sort of making fun of me and i'm like <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and what's her name anyway how do you remember uh, that i remember that too something yes about <laughs> so there was that whole conversation. So anyway, after all of that, yeah, we hit it off. And we've, I think we've got an amazing chemistry. Well, from my vantage point, we as far as friends in my life, you are definitely, I like to consider one of them. And, yeah. Uh, you just and live really far away. We were like, we've become two halves of the same organic yeah. nut over time. And that's not at the first <laughs> yeah. organic nut series yeah. that we did. Yeah, I agree. And it's been, <laughs> we got to be pushing two years now, I think. Uh, it might have been January-ish. So maybe that's close to our, our anniversary. But I think this is coming up on our second year, possibly. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look um, it up. 
Oh, well, that'll you that'll help me track down that YouTube you did about me. Shush, no, there's no, <laughs> these are not the droids you're looking for. For any of the men in the audience, these are not the droids you're looking for. These are not the droids we're looking for. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. There's no video. I don't know what you're talking about. That's cool. So now we can shut that door, shut that chapter. Yes. We now know we don't have to revisit it. Do you think it's a creaky door at this point? You know, like, yeah. like you know, like, it's, that kind of yeah. thing. It's like a, with a big old key, we'll just lock it. Yes. And then do we just <laughs> throw it or yep. whatever? Maybe wear it around our yeah. neck just to remind us of the, the bondage. <laughs> brought us together i don't know that's uh well it's just dramatic i don't know that's how we are here in the united states you know that everything's bigger and greater and crazier man yeah, yes. i've told this story before and i think it's hilarious i still want to bring this up again it's, it's just it's such a ridiculous thing that we do here in the united states for all the u.s viewers for people outside of the united states that look at us and go what the f man uh, yeah. but the fact that nasa our space administration thing wanted to come up with a way to to be able to write underwater write on glass write you know, in zero gravity, right? Like upside down, like right hanging from the monkey bars. Like they wanted to be able to do all this stuff. So they spent like a million dollars back in the fifties or some crazy thing, like a ridiculous amount of money to yeah. make a pen that could do all of this. And the <laughs> Russians, the Russians, how did they do it? With a pencil. That's the U.S. Wow. I didn't did. know that. A pencil. Yeah. Pencils work really well pretty much anywhere. It's just graphite. <laughs> That's really fun. As long as there's something sort of scratchy to ride it across, you'll be fine. So either yeah. a dollar, a dollar and five cents versus a million dollars. That's a dollar five <laughs> now. Even you imagine, you know, yeah, yeah, back in the fifties, they're like, dude, I just got a pack for like a, a, a ruble, right? Like, and I, yeah, I gave yeah. him a shiny rock, and he was like, yeah, here's some pencil. You know, <laughs> shiny rock. Like, yeah, that happens. Oh, that's how well, the other works. thing. What was the other thing we're you know, talking about? I've already forgotten. We were going to talk about that Neville quote. The Neville quote. Yes, thank you. Because I know my third thing, and that's if we have. Yeah, time, but of course. So, so we're going to kind of call this Neville Nugget from uh, the Anya Stan style version because she, Anya, she do all sorts of Neville Nuggets, and I'm not necessarily trying to catapult on that. Like I won't be doing Neville Nuggets like or anything, but uh, I, I think it's fair to say that this you is can, really one of those moments. What? You really? could do you could do Dan's Neville Nuggets. It's not going to offend me because you would have your own little twist on it. So Don't you know, make me, make me cry right here in front of everybody. Like, it's my gift to you. But you, you love me that much. <laughs> I do. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh. You oh know what? God. Speaking oh. of Neville Nugget, I'll tell yeah. you where the origins of that began. I went out yeah. dancing. I was in Sydney. I came home at about two o'clock in the morning. I was totally revved up. I couldn't come down. I picked up a Neville book. I started reading. And I remember thinking, God, you know, at two o'clock in the morning, I wish I could just, you know, have these little bite size, little like chicken nugget size. Yeah, because you're like, I just reread yeah. this page five times and why then, do i still not understand it exactly yeah and i was just is this like neville old english? It needs to be neville nuggets little neville nuggets and i that's where that size. series began was because i got bite sized chunks of neville uh <laughs> neville little you know little carve nuggets. it off you know it's like chewy neville but yep. it's flavorful you enjoy every bite it, but <laughs> it's but so on that note yes Yes, what would our Feeling nugget be? To, we want to have like sound effects in the background so bad. They're like, -la 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 -ling. anyway, just imagine it, people. Matt, when we have the budget, we'll do it. But anyway. Okay. Um, well, it's coming. It's, yeah, right. Yeah, it is. So it says, what you take in as a feeling, you bring out as a condition, action, or object in space. Oh, I'm going to read it, one, it more time. one more time. <laughs> what you take out. No, sorry, what you take in as a feeling. So whatever you've got going on within you as a feeling, you bring out as a condition, an action or an object in space. So everything and everyone is you pushed out, in other words. So if you think I'm sick, I'm always sick, you bring it out as a condition of sickness if, or you bring it out as an action if you well, say, while we're on that topic, like when people, and this is the one I've been kind of trying to talk about on that exact subject is when people don't want to be sick, right? That's what yeah. they're they, like. Okay. On yes, you're right. I'm focusing on sick. Okay. So now I'm going to, my affirmation is I don't want to be sick. Yeah. And that's still being sick. You're still it's focused still on the sick. It's 
what do you want to do? I wish to be healthy. I wish mm. to be right. Like not Correct. sick is like, but you don't want to say not sick because that's sick. So I wish to be healthy. Mm. I am healthy. My immune system's amazing. That's honestly what I use all the time. Yeah. My immune system's amazing. I constantly am dealing with uh, everything. I've got this shield around me. Like yeah. anyway, so yeah. I, I yeah. and it's like people that say I'm now debt free. You're still using words that debt. are like, like, Yep. not sick. It's the same yeah. thing. So. I have an abundance of income. I have money coming in. I'm it, like, mm. right. It's that, what are you focusing on? What would you like to mm. experience? You know, it's funny. You were talking about feeling and there was a, a book I shared and I, I cannot remember the life of me. And I will, you and I, I'll send you, I'll email it to you. So at some point it'll be in the show notes below. Yeah. Uh, but there's a, a book that was written that I did a show on recently. And it talks about how, if you can feel it, like if you can feel it, yep. then it's real. Mm. And it was the same concept that you're talking about. And what it comes down to is that point when you imagine it so well and you can actually like feel them, you can taste them, smell them, touch them, right? Like it becomes real. It becomes tactile. It starts to become like something that you can actually experience. Mm. Then that is when I think Neville was talking about really mm. that it's real. It's now real, right? Like yeah. you can go and you can walk away. Like it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I got that now. But I think that's is I think that's the same concept too, right? I know it's the us pushed out. I think it falls into that as well. Mm. But I do think that whole what your quotes say. One more time, maybe I'm totally crazy, but okay. I which I am. So what you take in as a feeling, you bring out as a condition, an action, or an object in space. So it's three things. That's like manifestation, right? It's so a like, physical like condition as feel in. Something. Like I'm, like I'm wealthy or I'm poor, I'm loved or I'm unloved, I'm unhealthy or I'm healthy. So you've got, that's your condition. Right. You get, or, you take, or you bring it out as an action. So if you're thinking about, say, in, in going back to the health one, if you are saying to yourself, I've got so much energy, I feel so great, then the action would be that you can run the marathon. Yeah. yeah. Or you're so going to hop of, in your car and go down to the gym. Or you're going to Yeah, you know, you're, you've you're got the, the Yeah, the action is what you're able to do because of what you took in as a feeling. Then the object in space part, what you take in as a feeling, you bring out as an object in space. So if you believe that you are on a plane heading to Fiji, then you bring that out as an object in space. You end up on a plane heading to Fiji, laying on that beach oh, with the yeah. okay. white sand between your toes. So you right. bring it out as an object. The plane takes you there. I mean, the island obviously isn't the object. It'd be the resort or wherever you're staying. But it's like those three things. It either manifests as a condition, an action, or an object in space. And I like how he breaks that down into the three categories because you can definitely see that what you manifest can fit into those three little, you know, five. Well, you just, you just gave me a crazy, like, uh, <laughs> like, I don't know, whatever. Like, in my mind, like my mind's eye, I saw this really cool little view of, of like time and how time, our future, if you will, is kind of fuzzy, right? Because there's choices and all these other things. But it's almost like the second we do, what his quote's talking about the second we do that, bring out that feeling, right? Or whatever we create a moment in our, it was weird. It's like, I could see like the plane trip, like for you, it was like the little mm. icon of a plane and yep. I could see it on my fuzzy future path and it got imprinted and it's like, boom, yep. I just damped this you event stamped it. Yeah. into my, into my future, my likely yep. probable future. Yep. And if I don't like doubt it and, you know, move the thing around like a slider, right. If like, I just basically kind cool. of, have that experience, yeah. Plant it right in your timeline, and then something will pop up. If, uh, maybe a month down the road, someone walks up and they're like, "Oh my god, I got this awesome uh, option for us to be able to go and get like plane tickets for like nothing." Yeah. Like, oh like, "Oh my god, I want to be able to go to this place. We just talked about it, right?" So all yep. of a sudden, things open up in your life, and when you take that inspired action, yeah, react to what's happening, right? Because yep. you implanted something into your life. Mm. Not this very second. Mm. Ooh, no, it's going to happen when it happens, wh wherever that is, right? Yeah. Whatever. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, it's yeah, like it was just yeah. a weird kind of visual that came with imprint. it. Imprint. Like, yeah. I like your yeah. imprint, like an imprint onto your future timeline. Yeah. Like, like a that. stamp, like a chicken, yeah. like a ch right. chunk. Wait, yeah, ch -chunk, ch -chunk. Is that what did you did? That's what a ch -chunk. Yeah, because when you were kids, you'd get those little packs of six stamps with the little stamp pad. It's like you do, you stamp it onto your future. 
where you where you're heading exactly and- you're like or you put it on your calendar it's kind of what a vision board is but yeah i think yeah. it's all the that's but yeah from the very i think it's already real standpoint because that's yep. really confusing i think to a lot of people self-included <laughs> but, but, it's, that, but it's real yeah the second i mean neville says the second you imagine it right the second that it's truly imagined within your mind like yeah. it's it's now real like it's yeah. now yours it's now your thing like really theoretically that's you know, I mean, you can keep doing it. I'm sure it helps and all that. Let's not go. But yeah. the fact is, is that does the creating, the asking, the everything. Yeah. And I, I think, yeah, it's like it's, it, it implants it onto a point of your life. Now you might be able to slide that towards you or slide it away from you based off of how yeah. often you doubt and question whether you think you're worthy. I mean, again, that's why you and mm-hmm. I talk so frequently about people paying attention to what they're actually saying like well yeah. you know because i'm not good enough and they'll, they'll do this and it's like whoa did you just hear yourself and they're like no i'm totally worthy what do you mean like yeah no you got to look you got to look at what you're saying and start to see if yeah. you're having struggles mm. There's mm. something you yeah. know again it comes down to it because otherwise <laughs> what you what you really envision is what starts to happen you start creating yeah. ripples out and the thing is this is the thing like it doesn't matter what you say you believe what you say you feel what you say you think none of that matters no it's right it's what you have got in your orbit yes will tell you what you really really deeply think the most on that particular yeah you don't and that you can do that for anybody that you know like even if it's someone in your family that you don't talk to that much you know some relative will tell you what's going on with uncle joe And then you go, okay, well, then that means you can say to yourself, well, if Uncle Joe has just lost all his money and his business has collapsed, that means Uncle Joe's had a hell of a lot of financial fear. He's had a lot of feelings of insecurity around money. He's felt not secure, not supported, not not um, like there's not enough. And right. he's now yeah. collapsed his business. You don't even know the word. That's how, how successful Anyas is. Just so you know, that she doesn't even know that word. That word of lack is what I think she was trying to <laughs> She didn't even know the word anymore. <laughs> Thank God. So, it yeah, took, right. It's a. It is it a good took word. To, Forty-five years to let it eh, go. Eh, <laughs> you get there when you do. Come on. You get there when you do. What's yeah. the rush? Well, yeah, the it's, rush? A, it's a marathon, people. Come on now. You're I'm trying sprinting. to manifest as slow as I can these days. <laughs> <laughs> I call it the molasses technique. Well, and you know, my like, my, uh, my French national animal is the snail, so I'm trying. Oh, it is. You know, it's my totem animal. <laughs> That's even slower than the turtle, which is fantastic because that's usually the, the analogy that a lot of it is like the tortoise and the hare, right? And they're yeah. like, oh, that one's really slow and the hare's the so tortoise fast. tortoise and the hare, yeah, exactly. And you're like, no, 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 Slay a snail, mate. Slow yeah, no, no. We're talking down. all day to go this far. Yep. That's, that's a trip. That's a journey, yes. That's but. the thing. The turtle gets there and the snail does too, unless he gets cooked in the sun on the way. But, you know, there is that thing of slowing everything. Cause I see with law of attraction and people emailing me and, and even face to face and, you know, in the Q and a, whatever, wherever I get information from people, everybody wants to get over there fast. And that's yeah. the, the issue is the dissatisfaction of being here right now is what actually delays the fastness. Well, to me, it's an issue of truly becoming that what you seek like we yeah. i want to i want to be in this place where i have so and so with me right and so really what that means is from where you are right now how would you feel different how what would you what would be different in your life who would you be how would it feel what are you mm. and if you can be that right now that actually makes you vibrate at that frequency that makes you compatible mm. with that reality and it's yeah. that getting to that place where you're it where you are sending out what it we were talking about ripple effects earlier right and Mm. and, and future things coming maybe wink wink nod nod but it's about kind of what you send out it's that concept of of that and i the power i think i think that's lost on uh, oftentimes i think with people where where there's struggle in their manifesting process they're the ones that will maybe comment, you know, like, why well, keep doing X, Y, and Z, but it never works, you know? And yeah. I, I think you and I have found whenever we've coached people, it, it's that yeah. you, you let them talk for a few, you talk to them for a little bit and you try to get where they're at because ultimately you start to see some of the things start to pop out, some, some behaviors, some, some little negative things, maybe some places where self-love's doubted, like, but you start to see a little, little red flags come up. 
And, and it's just like an issue of trying to find those and then help us, you, all of us resolve yeah. these blockages, yeah. right? I mean, yeah, are these exactly. moments where we're pushing back? So anyway. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, um, I just, I see that thing. It, it, those that want to speed everything up, that very energy within you of trying to accelerate is a it, re it really just amplifies i'm yeah. dissatisfied here yeah. i'm dissatisfied yeah. now i need i've got urgency about getting out of here wherever here is out of a relationship into a relationship out of this job away from this boss whatever it is but if you actually do the opposite and you breathe and you surrender and you let go and say, I'm going to be here as long as I'm going to be here and I'm going to make peace with that, which Esther Hicks talks about a lot, make peace with where you're at, make peace with where you're at. But it's really, really, it's like as soon as you let go and surrender and be where you are, that's when the shackles just drop off. Yep that need to have it. It's one of the yeah. steps they talk about being able to look at the thing that you want, especially if it's a specific person, which is so backwards to people, but it's to be able to say, and I'm fine without it. Yeah. And I'm okay if I never get it. And yes. to be able to truly say that and yes. mean it internally, not saying it to the universe. The universe is not a second party that's listening to stuff. The universe yeah. understands exactly what you're doing. If it's like, no, I'm just going to say it, but really inside, I don't, I'm scared, right? Like the yeah. universe knows you're scared. It doesn't give a crap what words you just said, right? So <laughs> it's, it's, it, it is that whole idea yeah. of putting, putting the, that right energy out there. Mm, right? Mm. Yeah, I think, and, and I do think that comes later on when you've been trying to manifest law of attraction for a while, reading, understanding Neville, understanding states, understanding allowing, understanding surrender, and you're getting to those more inactive external inactivity and more internal focus yeah and you start to see the things that we do it's those <laughs> moments when you're like yeah you idiot person and you're like wait whoa <laughs> wait i'm just i you know i'm sending out ripples again i'm yeah. sending out negative energy it's not an issue of yeah but i was thinking about my person this morning and it's like mm. man you're a horrible person the rest of the day like that five minutes in the morning is great yeah. and it's helping you manifest that, but you're sending all this negative mojo, mm -hmm. brown energy almost, as I like to call it, like ugh, energy. And it's like you're pushing all that out to everyone else. And yeah. you've really got to be cognizant of, of these moments. And, and again, it's not that you're necessarily being mean to someone, but maybe you're being mean to you. Maybe you don't yeah. think you're good enough. Maybe, you, yeah. maybe you're still wanting approval from somebody you didn't get it from when you were younger. Like I yeah. manifest so many different ways. And, yeah. It's always an interesting story. I mean, it's, you know, sometimes catastrophe. I don't mean it to say that it's not a bad thing, but it's like mm. all of us have stories. All of us have armor and scarred tissue and damage. And it really is part of what helps us evolve and learn and grow. And, and it's what connects us and makes oh, people gosh, yes. relate to us is hearing an honest story of, you know, this is what happened and this is where I am. And this has partly made me who I am today because all that happened and I didn't understand it then, but I understand it now. And now I'm not doing that anymore. Right. It, it, it's odd as in some public lights right now, it's, it's like you can be, you can be busted for something you said a long time ago. And even if it's something that maybe you don't agree with anymore, like, you yeah. know, cause I, I, I've evolved, you know, there's a lot of things I've learned and grown. Uh, I've been, I don't even want to, <laughs> taint that but uh, so as yeah it, it would be a shame to be held accountable for the rest of my life from mistakes i made 20 years in your 20s right? or 30s yeah, or whatever. I, yeah i haven't made it ever again and i don't want to i have no yeah. intention of it it's like you know once a cheater always a cheater it's like well maybe but not necessarily no. right like if you want to keep being that way or if you've learned if it's a contrast if it taught you something like mm. again i don't think anything's just so it's not black and static white. Yeah, no, it's, it yeah. moves. It's not set in stone. It's yeah, fuzzy. for sure. It really fuzzy target. Fuzzy. fuzzy target. I like that. It was like I said, the timeline. It's kind of a fuzzy timeline, right? Like yeah. a like a, a they, one of the terms we use in uh, in uh, project management, like some of the stuff I'm working on professionally, like the cone of uncertainty or cone of certainty. I think they call it. So it's like like the little <laughs> angle of yeah, like this fifteen percent. There's your fuzzy. <laughs> the cone of uncertainty. Cone, uh -huh. well, I think it was cone of certainty. I guess everything outside of that's uncertain. It's more 
that's funny. <laughs> the cone, I think. Anyway, I might be wrong. Yeah. Right. Someone will comment and be like, Dude, I got a visual idiot. of that. Don't listen to this guy. It, it should be cone shaped. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and that tied into a, a song I brought up, and I, I, I can't ever play songs again because of the way life is, but the Smiths did a great song called How Soon Is Now. And yep. uh, the title is far more uh, apropos maybe than the lyrics when you listen to it. But it's an awesome song. I love the song personally. You can but put it in the description, Dan. We could. We could. Link. We could mention it. We could mention yeah. it. Yeah. People could. And maybe if I find the actual song that's on the official Smiths channel, then that's actually kind of cool to link yeah, for them. Yeah. I, I, dug I bought the CD. I own it. It's not that I downloaded it or anything. But the, the concept of how soon is now, I think this is probably a great place to like finalize. But it, a lot of us are talking about and you and i mentioned this earlier about how there's something that needs to occur in our lives it's, there's something that we want to start doing there's something like i i need to start going to the gym yep. uh, i need to start uh working on meditating uh, i need to work on uh, or regularly meditate right i need to work on doing a vision board i need to uh do something something right and we keep telling ourselves i need to yeah and what that does is that manifests that not doing it, yeah. but thinking about it. Like, yeah. you know, it stays on your mind, but you're not really doing it. So you're like, oh, oh my God, I need to do it. I keep thinking about it. It's like writing a note and staring at it. And you're like, yes, I will do that. So we have to change the way we look at it. I will do it. I am doing it. I'm going to do it. Go do it. Whatever the case Go is. Go do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but how soon is now? Yeah. You want to you wanna make a change? Now's yeah. probably the best time to think about it. Right now. Yeah. Right this second. As you're watching this. Mm. Right this second. Mm. And that's what you were kind of talking about too, is kind of making these transitions, doing something different. You've been doing a pattern yeah. being, you know, every time you walk by that person, you flip in the bird and you're like, they're always mean to me. It's like, uh, so don't flip them off tomorrow and see if that changes. Right. Like, yeah. let's, let's try something different. Maybe that's, yeah. maybe that'll work. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who am I to say? <laughs> the mental diets, the self-talk is about everything is really important. And you catch yourself with all sorts of different things, like people, especially family members, people you've known since you were born. Oh, he's always like that, or she's always been like that. It's like, right. hang on a minute. They'll never that? change. It's like, what? what how yeah, that? they'll never change. And you go, yeah. wow, I've been thinking that about that person. Once you start reading Neville and you start uh -huh. doing Law of Attraction, you think, hang on, I'm holding them in that position. Yep. Yep. And I keep doing that. And I've, They don't need to be there. They don't need to be there. But we do it again and again and again, especially with people we've known a long time or with a specific yeah. person or with, you know, a cousin or a... Whoever. It's amazing how often there, a feud is actually being held up by you. Yeah. Like me, you, like both of us, right? Us, like at yeah. The, mo yeah, the moment that we realize like, well, I'm mad at them too. And it's like, yes, stop you being, mm. you stop, you be the bigger person. Why do I have to be the bigger person? Yeah. Because you're the one that is actually conscious of it right now. You're yeah. the one that's trying to be a bigger person in life, yeah. right? Like, be the bigger person and mm. believe it or not, it makes the difference. Suddenly things start to dissolve, chains break away. Yep. Stuff starts, doors start to open. It's, I, it sounds crazy. I know I get it, but it's funny how it works. It's, it's true. funny. Like you said, letting go. I mean, it's yeah. And there'll be someone to practice on. There's always someone to practice. Oh on. yeah. And there's going to be reminders and contrast. That's going to be like, yeah, I will. How, I've been working really hard and doing, you know, these great, the uh, positive affirmations and thoughts about so-and-so and, and then this person over here was really grumpy. What does that mean? It's like, well, that you just got a good contrast to like, yeah, that's why you don't want to be like that. Yeah. You see that experience you just had. That's yeah. what you were to other people. Yeah. You were being that. Here you are not being that cool because tomorrow for you is going to be better than your mm. today because mm. you're making steps in that direction. But here's an example mm. of what it was or how you were, or, you know, or what your fear was. or So again, the, that contrast is, is still mm. a beautiful, beneficial thing. So a yeah. lot of people, I think, panic. They think they've manifested the contrast and it's, yeah, yeah, but it's meant to be there, right? Like, don't you agree? Or am I like, anyway, I would Absolutely. probably- Absolutely. And Esther talks, so. ab no, Esther talks about that a lot, um, about when you understand contrast is just contrast and you just then turn away from it and use it as an excuse to focus more deliberately on a wanted thing. Yeah. You just spend less time standing there with your hands on your hips, looking for things to be offended by and you drop your hands and you go, right, I'm heading that way. And yeah, you stop that, protesting about everything. Yeah. That's been something I've had to work on. I still got to work on that. As soon as I go out, you know, especially in, in, You're in like, hell, hell no, we won't no, go. It's like everywhere no. you go, you just walk around the, no, no, I just think it's it, because I'm in the city 
as soon as you walk into a main street, you know, there's people cutting you off walking, there's people smoking in your face. There's like, you know, I'm instantly offended by all this. Uh. I want to go there so bad, man. You really, (laughs) I just, and and people stand too close to me in the coffee queue or in the, like I've got, Oh, they get in your personal space. Don't get started on that. Oh, oh, let let go of it, man. Like who cares? They're just standing behind you. I'll take this step. Relax. Like just relax. Like I've got to constantly work on not being offended by things (laughs) because I get offended so easily by people that get in too close. People, you know, you stand, they're standing at the bus stop and instead of standing a bit further away from you, they stand next to you and smoke a cigarette and you want to tell them to piss off. Right, right. They're just living. They're not worried about you. They're thinking about themselves. Yeah, but yeah. are you going to be offended 24 hours a day? And you know, Sometimes you can. Well, and you can, but what I find is if you are offended 24 hours a day, you seem <laughs> to find different things to be offended by. But if you decide, you know what, screw it. I don't care. Yeah. Everyone else is going to do what their thing is. It's not my problem. Really what I would like to experience is this. Yeah. And then you actually start to find that a lot of those things don't seem to happen as They often. don't bother you as much. I know. Well, I don't even think you notice them is my point. Oh, like They disappear kind of. They they're still there. You just didn't happen to walk there at that <laughs> second when the dude was smoking or you like. Exactly. It's, it's like you timing changes. It. Yeah. You're it's your, your timing changes. <laughs> yeah. You shift. It's a phase shift. I don't know. Call it what That's you want. True. Yeah, but you are in and you don't experience it anymore. You don't That's see true. it. Your filter changes. That's true. I found, um, ah, here it is. I've just been trying to find, there was a really good quote that I oh, was. Yeah, just, that's what she does when we do shows, people. She just sits there and reads uh, books. <laughs> she's into things. And she's no, just talking. I had a really, because we're talking about Neville. There was a really good Neville quote that I've been trying to find. And today I was looking oh, nice. through my photographs and I'd taken a screenshot of it. And I thought, oh, I've got to talk to Dan about that. Nice, nice. And instead of doing my own YouTube about it, I, I thought we could talk about it here because this is really important too. Now, going back to health and pain. Neville says this, pain comes from lack of relaxation. When you sleep, there's no pain. If you are under anesthetic, there is no pain because you're relaxed as it were. If you have pain, it's because you're tense and you're trying to force something. You cannot force an idea into embodiment. You simply appropriate it. It is attention minus the effort. I'm going to say that bit again. It is the attention minus the effort you just give your attention to something you bring your awareness to it you don't yeah, go the okay, effort's larger than the intention then yeah, you get nothing or you go you negative get nothing because you're still trying to work hard to make it happen so attention you cannot force an idea into embodiment you simply appropriate it it is attention minus effort there's an amazing quote <laughs> i think they probably always call it confucius says but let's just say it whatever it's a, i think it is from uh, china china probably but uh, a tree that bends does not break, right? Yeah. It's that whole and Bend so many. Like the willow. Yes, like, like the, like the willow. willow. <laughs> Anyways, yes, for that, that probably count a few people. Anyway. But, <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, one yeah. more set. One more oh, set. Whoa, my bad. Oh uh, no, it's okay. I'm used to you interrupting me all the time. <laughs> Side talk. Right. Would you like a helping? Would you like some? I've got some salad for you. <laughs> Side salads are good. Yes. Would you like dressing on it? Yes, I've got some. Yes, with fruit. Fruit, yes, I fruit. was. Scott. That's for I Joe, was, my Scottish I, interviewee. Scottish, I, I Hello, wish I could Joe. I wish you could come back and say I fruit. wish you could talk. <laughs> Just. <laughs> anyway, Neville, yes, sir, yes. only practice will bring you to the point where you can be attentive and still be relaxed. Neville Goddard. So. And that's the thing for me, too. Being relaxed. Like, if you're not relaxed, you are tense and you're trying to force something i think that was majorly important that one sentence not just that but it's that forcing is when you don't really enjoy where you're at and And as much as people are like why would i be happy yeah exactly Mm. and you're and that's when you start focusing on what's going on in front of you right now instead of right like where i'm going like i know this is happening this is where i'm heading yep Uh, but it's that that thing that we think as action figures If I don't do something, it won't happen. No, if I internally focus and let go, it will happen would be a much better statement because that's an old sentence from God knows where our parents, our grandparents, you know, if I don't do this, it won't happen. That's a forcer's 
commentary. Could be even from books back when they thought the earth was flat. Just saying. Could Things be. have changed a little bit. Some of, this, little. some of this ideology, right? We've, we've learned some new teachers have come in the, uh, in the ages, Nebel being one of them. Thank yeah, God. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like when, when was he born? Like in the 30s, 40s, somewhere in there? 20? Uh, I can't remember when he was born. He, yeah, he stopped. I can't remember. I just, yeah, his main. I stopped sending a birthday card. I've got to look that up, actually. We'll look it up and we'll put it down in the description. But he was obviously at his peak in like the 40s and 50s. That's when okay. he was at his peak of radio and he was in New York and he was teaching. But yeah, that'll be a good thing to look up. I'm going to look that up and put it up there because I've for totally forgotten because I, d I don't remember numbers. I'm great with colors and I'm horrible with numbers. So What color was he? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the stupid stuff that comes out of my face is amazing. I, it was funny as I was on a business trip and I actually said to one of my very good friends something that wasn't even close to what I meant, but the way it came out, it, it became the joke for the rest of the trip. Like You don't have a sensor or a filter. That's oh, a no, it very rarely works. Great. I want to tell people what I almost said when my filter actually does. It's like, you, oh my God, let me tell you what I almost just said, right? What's the point of a filter if, if but again, it happens so rarely. You're not going to use it. No. no, but that's what I like about you is those random side salads. Yeah, I mean, I mean well, people. I really do. I have a good heart, but You yeah. do. Who knows what's coming out of my face? I'm just telling you, I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm sorry, people. It, it, it's just who you are. It, well, it is, and I've, I've had to embrace it, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. I, Dan, I how, how old right are you now? I, I'm, I'm 45 now. Okay. Yeah. I, can I ask how old you are now? 52. Ooh, all right then. Yeah. Bow, bow, chicka, bow, wow. Always the older <laughs> lady. <laughs> bow, bow. Bow, uh, I remember that song. Mm, yes. That was always the song. joke too, was the, uh, the farm and the, anyway, it's so not appropriate. <laughs> not appropriate for this segment. <laughs> there's, there's animals that might have gotten hurt or at least emotionally <laughs> scarred in this particular story. It's probably not Probably not the best thing to share. That's all. I'm just saying that's maybe for my other channel. For another, your other channel, yes. One of these days, when you do start it, we will I started it. I just haven't actually put any videos on it yeah. yet. So just, well, we can't uh, just put a link to a video list channel. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, that nice, <laughs> nice page, Dan. Yeah, nice like page. Yeah, it'd be great when there's actually videos there <laughs> to watch. There's a video on it, yeah. Yeah, we'll try that. Well, we'll try that. I don't know. I'm just saying YouTube videos, who's, who's going to do that? Never. Someone. Yeah, crazy. Cool. Well, well, I just, I love getting together with you and thank you for, I've, I've been tough. I've been traveling a lot for work. So I appreciate you getting together with me and no you're problem. just you're the best. You're the best. Next and thank you everyone from Australia. So might, I will see you in a singlet and shorts rather than a woolly jumper. A, a singlet even. I don't even know what that what is. It sounds it? like uh, a single thing. It's like one, a one piece. No, those, like, white, a bathing know, suit? those men, you know, men wear those white. Oh, the wife beaters we come or like oh, a, they a vest. I think they call, call them a vest. They call them. Yeah. Well, they call them a vest. I think we don't call them a vest. They call them a vest. We, I think in England. England, it's a vest because I right. went in and asked to we buy. We call it like a wife England. beater or something horrible. A wife beater. That's yeah, terrible. Yeah, it is ridiculous. No, yeah. I went into a shop the other day to buy some for someone, and I said I need a singlet, and she said a what? I said right. I thought oh, shit. Oh, I'm in Australia. I'm right. not, not in Australia. I can't say singlet. I've got to say. Yeah, hey, like a, it's like a shirt, and it's like this. Yeah, I don't even. I can't even wear those because the name of them bothers me so much. I'm like, yeah. I don't even want to be affiliated with that. Like, I don't. I even know want, that's terrible. Happenstance got wife beater on me. Like, oh, sorry. I, I <laughs> thought I washed it out. I put it in the washing machine five times. So there should be no wife beater in it anymore. So it's, it's a gone. vest or a singlet or. Yeah. What do you let's call just, it? When you let's just say it. American people, let's start calling it either a singlet or a vest instead of what we currently call but it. But what's the real word if you go to buy one? Oh, I don't know. Like I, how do you, I think if you look up. It's an undershirt. Is it an undershirt? I could look it up, but the, uh, it is an undershirt for sure. An undershirt. Uh, and you, yeah, undershirt would probably be better than t-shirt because those I think are usually sleeved. T-shirts are sleeved, yeah. Usually sleeved, right? So probably undershirt. It's more yeah. a sleeveless yeah. thing. Yeah, it's funny. Every country you go to has got their little lingo. So, yeah, I lose. I forget where I am sometimes it's, and I ask for the wrong things. And I say, oh, here's five dollars and I'm supposed well, to be in pounds or something. So it it's funny you say that. Wrong. Like I was I was talking to a friend of mine from another country and they were speaking in their language. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's like you have a different word for everything. And yeah. I didn't understand that at all. It was yeah. very, <laughs> I think that's a funny joke. Oh, anyway. 
note, on that yes, note, on that yes. note we <laughs> will <laughs> sign off and you and I will say goodbye in private. We as well. Yes, yes, we will. Okay. Everybody, though, thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, Anya, Stan, Radio Show, two organic nuts here. Hope, again, at least, you know, we'll do this more. Yeah. See you in January with Dan. Yes, yes. And it'll be warm and sunny where you're at. Yeah. Good times. It'll be, you know, frigid and cold here. It's California, yeah. so it won't be that bad. It'll be like in the 50s no. or something stupid. Please. Good. It's good. Yeah. Bye, exactly. everybody. Bye, everyone. Ciao.